morning and welcome to Facebook Live where today we are talking about what is a Fitbit what is it what is a Fitbit because I know a lot of you that we all kind of we know what a Fitbit is it's something that uh, counts your steps for you is that what a Fitbit is well I used to think that a Fitbit is just basically a pedometer they sell them in Poundland. So why would you just not buy a Poundland, Poundland pedometer for a pound? Why would you spend 60, 70, 80, or maybe 200 quid, which some Fitbits are? So what I want to talk about today is to explain why Fitbits have literally taken over the whole fitness industry when it comes to tracking your health tracking your steps now i remember one of my friends andrea who mm -hmm. when you know years ago i think maybe five years ago i remember having this little thing he said oh i've got this fitbit and that was my first experience i thought oh what a great idea what i will do is just buy one of these cheaper ones because you know they were like 100 pounds when they first came out why would you spend one for 100 pounds when you can get this cheap one for a tenner so I was doing that. Um, and back then, I did sign up for the app. So and it doesn't even matter if you haven't got a Fitbit. You can still sign up for the Fitbit app and download it to your phone um, and etc. Now, the reason that is so good, if you've never been on the Fitbit app, it's a little bit like Facebook because you can connect with all your friends that are also on Fitbit. So I'm just going to show you around the app before we actually talk about the watches. Um, so this is the Fitbit app. Uh, when you first open it up, it tells you, I'll just turn my Bluetooth on because it's saying I've done no steps. That's not a very good example for Fitbit, is it? So I've just turned my Bluetooth on, so it's now syncing with my watch to get my steps. And in a moment, um, you can see it says syncing there, and it is going to tell you about my steps. So it tells you how many steps you've done. It also tells you uh, how many minutes of exercise, how many calories you've burned, which is the most important bit for us. Um, you can see it's just popped up there. So far, I've done 7,427. I will turn my Bluetooth off again now. OK, um, it's just telling me I've overtaken Teresa E on our step challenge, which I'll talk to you about in a moment. Um, and it's also telling me how many minutes I've done um, and how many floors I've done as well. Um, so it says I've gone up 35 floors of stairs today. Wow. Uh, <laughs> then the other thing on this page, uh, you also have your, um, they have challenges. So you can have like a mini challenge with your friends on Fitbit. Uh, and this is called a work week hustle, which is Monday to Friday, or they also have weekend ones as well. And then underneath that, if you've got one of the advanced fit, Fitbits, which has basically got the green lights on the back, it will also track your sleep and it will also track your heart rate. Now, at the moment when people are stressed out and stuff like that, it's really important to track your heart rate if you are uh, going on it. I've had a, a good few uh, discussions with uh, some slimmers this week about it. And I'll just show you mine. Now, Last week, for instance, when we were um, exercising lots, my heart rate was uh, about 55, 56. Uh, and this week, because life slowed down a lot for me, I'm getting a lot better sleep, eating better. I've gone right down to 51. You can see that. So uh, for me, it just shows you straight away the benefits of working on your lifestyle because this technology can give you that little kick up the bum. So instead of relying on the scales to give you that uh, and maybe the actual weight loss, just to have a little bit of technology to show you that something inside you is improving. Um, so again, this is where maybe not a, a non-fit bit, one of those cheap ones, may not do this job of with a heart rate monitor so I really would recommend it and if you have a look at my graph as well that is my heart rate graph as well so you can see that's the last 30 days so you can see the last two weeks my heart rate my resting heart rates really come down a lot and that's because I've been really working on losing quite a lot of weight as well in that time uh, so again it's not necessarily about doing exercise just eating better and losing weight you will find that does improve your your heart rate uh, so that's one of the features and just in case you haven't seen the sleep settings before when you click, click on sleep um, it does give you a score and it just tells you how many hours you've done and then it also shows you the quality of your sleep 
Um, but so again, that's really interesting to, to see. It's not 100%, but again, it's nice just to take a little bit from that. So that's the front page, okay? Uh, and then at the bottom here, you have some tabs. One of the ones is called Discover, uh, and basically on there you have lots of different um, things to read and it will tell you some uh, things to do. Uh, and then the, my favorite page, this is the best one of all, and it's Community. So on your community page, first of all, you can um, post anything. So, uh, and only your friends on uh, Fitbit are going to see it. So you can see here, this is back uh, in when I was in Egypt. So I posted this picture uh, when I was doing that competition. Um, and I post on here every day. If you are friends with me, I do post my daily health tips up here, um, which again um, is a nice way because I know a lot of people don't like Facebook and stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to talk about in a minute why Fitbit is so good because if you want to be obsessed with something when you are uh, got not much to do right now then being obsessed with a fitness workout app or a food tracking app is amazing you know it's really going to give you something to focus on uh, in a great way to make you healthy long term so that's the feed uh, which is the first page and then the second one which is the great one is your friends so all your friends on fitbit now it only shows the ones that are active so if i go to the bottom of my list i've got 206 friends um, and at the bottom of my list is liz g so i'm not sure who liz g is uh, but if you are liz g you've done four steps this week <laughs> Uh, the reasons for that, by the way, guys, is obviously some people, uh, the batteries run out, stuff like that. Maybe the people forget to put it on. So Liz G, don't worry. I'm sure you're going to get it up. And then I'm going to take you to the top of my list. Now, the top of my list is always exactly the same. Her name is called Anne. She's one of the fitness instructors from DW Derby. Uh, and that sometimes is 250,000 steps. But normally about that, look, she basically walks a lot every single day. So um, I'm not sure how she's going to go on with the uh, isolation <laughs> rules because she must be jogging on the spot right now. And anyway, Anne is just amazing. But to be fair... A lot of my other slimmers as well. I give I'll give shout outs to the top ten. Okay. So I've also got in here Catherine F, Denise H, uh, Susan, Jane, Lorraine, who's a professional dog walker, um, Tracy W, Sarah. Uh, so those are some of the top ones. And again, um, because of my own personal weight, and I know if I do too much walking, so too much weight bearing stuff on my ankles, um, it is bad for my ankles and too much for myself as well. So I will never be joining you guys. <laughs> I like to admire you up there. I, I want to be about 15, 20, something like that, but I'll never be number one. And I fully accept that. So first of all, uh, the bad thing about this is obviously you try and compare yourself and, and push yourself to be up there. But don't do that if you know you're not going to necessarily be able to do it A, long term, but B, whether your body is going to suffer from it as well. So see it as just a, a little bit of fun rather than a professional competition. Um, and then the other one that we've got is groups. Now in the groups here, uh, we've got my Slim Brother Slimmers, so you can have a look there. So when we click in the Slim Brother Slimmers, um, it's a private group basically, a little bit like Facebook groups. People can post, people can have a little chat. Um, but then we've also got a little scoreboard. So here's some of my slimmers and you can see what we're all winning. Um, who's winning? Again, it puts it in an order. Uh, Sharon is number one, 87,000 steps. Charlotte! You're at the bottom, my dear. Uh, Charlotte is on 23,000 steps. But that's actually quite good, remember, to Liz, who was on four steps earlier. Um, now, just to reiterate, because obviously some people don't like people seeing how many steps they're doing, uh, this is only going on a... Uh, your friends. So if you don't want to share this information and you just you want to have it, then you can do that. You don't have to share it. You don't have to be friends with everybody. Uh, and then the uh, those, so those are the three sections and you can make yourself your own little group as well. So if you want like just your family or something like that, um, that's a nice way to add groups. And then there's also some public groups. And as I said, there's two things, the groups and the challenges. So there's two different things. And then one of the new tabs that they've added is something called Premier 
yeah, uh, which is basically like if you were going uh, to run a marathon or you need a training plan for a certain thing or there is an online one for weight loss as well. Uh, but as I said, I've never tried that, so I can't really say anything about that. Um, so that is the uh, Fitbit app. Um, if you want to know what the uh, there, the inbox, you basically you can get messages there and also notifications as well. So if you've got a red message there, uh, just have a look to see what that is. Uh, and then finally, when you click on your photo, um, it just goes into settings. Um, and also you can have your own profile so that's my little profile my username is jody bunting one word if you want to add me as your fitbit friend as i said um uh, don't compare yourself with myself it's just all about yourself um and then it also shows you your friends there as well so i've got 266 friends in total um great uh, now one thing i will just show you why we are in this page um, is your goals so preparing my report it says um, so so everybody thinks that you know you have to have 10,000 steps a day actually it's not um, you know you don't have to have 10,000 steps a day if doing a thousand steps or 500 steps is good for you for instance if you are uh, maybe you can't move around that much um, then actually doing 500 steps a day is a great um, achievable target to go for so don't look at other people's and think you've got to do it so it's all about yourself um, and as I said you can go in there and you can put your goal as either steps distance calories which is really important if you are using my fitness pal and you're going for a certain amount of calories you need to burn uh, you can do an activity minutes one which is really healthy uh, there's a floor one so if your home exercise is to go up and down the stairs that's really good um, and then you can also have your a time limit to try and get those in uh, Damien is saying go on <laughs> Hi. Um, as I said, there's lots of things in the settings area. Let me just check to see if there's anything I haven't missed. No, I think that's fine. Okay, so that is the software. And as I said, even if you haven't got a Fitbit device, you can still download the app and join in the fun. Because as I said, because you are connecting people who are having similar goals for you, I do find the Fitbit app is really fantastic. Okay, so let's move on to the device. Now, this is um, Fitbit Blaze 3, I think it is, okay. You can see it's got the time there. You just squeeze it to come on. Uh, the date, and then it's tell you how many floors I've done. Uh, my heart rate, which is coming up at 76, even though it's not on. So I don't know whose heart rate's that. And then, it seems to, I've just put this back on. Uh, Claire, I thrive on the competition. <laughs> <laughs> Claire is quite addictive, isn't it? Like I've seen, I myself have thought on a Friday night, especially when you get in the weekly challenge and it's Friday night and you know at midnight um, all the scores are going to be added up. I have on, at 7 p.m. on a Friday night nipped to the gym and done a few steps. So, yes, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Um, I don't know why it won't go. <laughs> I think it's because I'm squeezing it too much. Anyway, so this is what it looks like, okay? There we go. So that is the Fitbit. As I say, it's got the time and everything else like that on it. Um, it's also got some meditations. There's lots of other little things. Uh, Claire is saying, keep pushing me. I will. I keep... Right, there's this one other thing on the app as well that you can do. It's called cheer. So obviously, if somebody is ahead of you, you can cheer them. Uh, or maybe actually if maybe they're just doing more than normal you could just click on cheer uh, like on Facebook you've got the like button this is the cheer button and then the other one is to taunt <laughs> so anyone that's lower than me on the app it, I sometimes sit here for ages and just taunt all my 200 friends whoever uh, below me uh, and then cheer all the ones above so again this is a really nice fun positive thing that you can do on the app uh, which I said, which I said is, uh, you know, it's actually connecting with real people. Sometimes when you're scroll scrolling through Facebook, you just feel like you're in like this 
um, you know, like parallel universe that no one ever speaks to and you get no reactions. But I generally find that when you do do something on Fitbit, you get some feedback or you do get something from people straight away. Um, let me just read the comment. Uh, great. Yes, and being groups. Yes, that is, as I said, is quite important. Right, so that is it, guys. If you would like any more information, please let me know. So thank you for joining me. This has been our Slim Brother. Lots of love. <laughs>